Hansen method bank determination. To perform the configuration related to bank determination, we can use the T code that is FBZP or as always, we can take the menu path. So what is the menu path for this? That is, from SPRO it is SAP Reference IMG, Account Receivable and Account Payable and here I'll select this Business Transactions under Business Transaction, I'll go to Outgoing Payments. And here automatic outgoing payments and under automatic outgoing payments, I'll select the payment method or bank selection for payment program. Now what we have to do is we have to click on set up bank determination for payment transaction. When I do this, the system will navigate us to the new window and here click on the position button. Here what we have to do is we have to enter the company code and press enter. Now, I'll select my company code and then double click on this ranking order on the left side of the screen. But the question is, what is this ranking order? To understand this, let's say I have multiple house banks that is Citibank, HDFC Bank and ICICI Bank. And I have marked the ranking order as Citibank as 1, HDFC Bank as 2 and ICICI Bank as 3. In Citibank, I have 10,000 as balance. In HDFC Bank, I have got 20,000 as balance. And in ICICI Bank, I have got 80,000 as balance. Now, what I have to do is, I have to make a payment of 50,000 to vendor. What it is, I have to make a payment of 50,000 to vendor. So based upon the ranking which we maintain in the screen, the system will go and collect the fund. So from the Citibank, it will collect 10,000. From HDFC Bank, it will collect 20,000. And from ICICI Bank, the system will collect the remaining required amount that is 20,000 while making the payment to the vendor. Got the concept? How it has happened? That is, based on the rankings you have maintained for the house bank, the system will pick the amount from it. Yes, based on the rankings you have maintained for the house bank, the system will pick the amount from it. For example, I have given my ICICA bank as 1, Citibank as 2 and HDFC bank as 3. When the system checks for the 50,000, the ICICA bank has enough balance and it is ranked as 1. Hence, it will take the complete amount from the ICICA bank and does not check for the Citibank and HDFC bank. But in real time, I have not seen any project using this functionality. Believe me, I have never seen a project using this functionality. Because the companies who have implemented the SAP, they normally have enough balance in the single bank account and need not give more than one bank account. But we do have this option available in SAP. Okay? Yes. Now coming back to configuration, in our learning activity, we have created only one house bank. Correct, right? We have created only one house bank. What I'll do? I'll assign my house bank here. And here, I'll click on the new entries button in the screen. For the first column payment method, enter the payment method A and then currency as INR, rank as 1 and assign the house bank here. Okay? In our case, it is CityM. What it is? It is CityM. Now we are done with the changes. To save the changes, what I'll do? I'll just click on the save button. Now what we have to do is, we have to double click on the bank accounts which is on the left side of the screen. And here, click on the new entries button. Now for the first column, enter the house bank name and then the payment method as A. Along with this, we have to make certain entries that is currency, account ID of vendor payment and also we have to enter the bank account. Since this is a truck payment, ideally you have to enter the intermediary bank account number and not the original bank account number. When the payment is first made, that is check is issued, it will be posted in the intermediary bank account. And then, when the payment is cleared, the bank will send the statement. In the real-time projects, we do the enhancement where the intermediary account and the bank accounts are posted.
but this is not available as a part of standard sap please remember this this is not available as a part of standard sap since this is idea server and i do not have the authorization to update it manually when the check is cleared hence what i'll do is i'll assign my main bank account here for our learning activity so what i've done here i have assigned directly my main bank account here what we have to do now we have to double click on the available amount which is on the left side of the screen and here click on the new entries button here we have to make certain entries that is we have to enter the house bank name and also the account id of vendor payment then enter the value date as 999 and we use this value date only in the case of bill of exchange payments but for the normal cases what we will do is we will maintain as 999 then what happens is then the system will not consider the value dates okay and then comes currency here we have to enter the currency as inr and enter the available amount for the outgoing payment as 9999999999 okay many nines correct right okay this is just a random amount i am maintaining for our learning activity but in the real time it will be based on the company's real account balance available for the outgoing payments now as usual to save the changes we have to click on the save button so guys this completes a configuration part related to app that is automatic payment program in sap